Good Erev Shabbos, everyone. Erev Shabbos, Parshas B'Shalach, Shabbos Shira, the Shabbos of Song. It's not just the Shabbos of Song because we sing the Song of Moses at the sea. It's not just because we sing over the Shira, but it's because the whole Shabbos is a Shabbos of jubilation, of joy, of the realization of seeing the hand of Hashem. The song begins, Oz Yashir Moshe. Then Moshe will sing, or Moshe sang. And the Medrash says that this was really Moshe Rabbeinu's tshuva. Moshe Rabbeinu's repentance, because he said, I sinned with the word us, and therefore I need to fix it up with the word us. See, when I came to Mitzrayim, and I petitioned Paro, Paro made it worse for the Jews. He took away their bricks. He made it more difficult for them. And the Pasuk tells us, May Oz Basi El Paro. From that time when I came to Paro, Ladaber Bishmachal to speak in your name, Herola Amazeb, became just terrible for this people. Moshe Abenu was looking just at the small picture, he was just looking at that moment. And God turns to Moshe Abenu and he tells him that you're going to see that Paro is not only going to let the people go, but he's going to chase them out of Mitzrayim. You're going to see how this whole thing is going to play out. This is going to be the most amazing thing. Right now, it's dark and black and it hurts. Right now, it's terrible. But it's going to be amazing. All you have to do is just persevere. May Oz Bossy from them, when I was involved in this darkness and involved and mired in this pain, if you just persevere and push through it, Oz Yosher, then you'll get to the song and the jubilation you'll see how the whole thing plays itself out. And that's why the next event that took place right after they crossed over the sea was Mara. They walked for three days. And they didn't find Mayim, they didn't find water. And then the only water that they found was bitter water. And Hashem told Moshe to take a bitter stick and to throw it into the bitter water and to turn it sweet. Normally, when you want to make something sweet, you put sugar into it. You put something sweet into it. But what Hashem was teaching, now the entire Jewish nation, the lesson that Moshe learned, is that sometimes when it's bitter, you just have to persevere, and there's more bitterness, and there's more bitterness, but eventually it turns sweet. Eventually the difficulty becomes something amazing, but that you just have to push through. You just have to hold on and you'll see that incredible Oz Yasher. You'll be able to sing and to hear that song sung. Right after they came to a place called Elim, which is a place of palm trees. It's interesting that fruit trees we call a fig tree, we call an apple tree, a peach tree. But a palm tree, we don't call a date tree, we call it a palm tree. Because the palm is a very bitter, very bitter tree. But it gives off such amazing fruit. And it was just to drive home this point. To drive home this point. That we can't become bitter. When things are difficult, we can't become bitter. We have to push. And then we'll see the sweetness. You know, the Torah tells us that when they came to the water, it was bitter, they couldn't drink it. And the way it's always translated, because the water was bitter. One of our rabbis says, no, because they were bitter, because they gave up. Because they stopped pushing. They stopped believing in the dream, stopped believing in that moment that it was going to all come right. That's the message of Oz Yasher, the message of the bitter waters the message that God wants us to get so clearly that when things are difficult, all you have to do is persevere. And when you keep pushing and you keep holding on, and granted, it might get a little more bitter and a little more bitter, but eventually that bitterness turns to sweetness and oz yashir. Then you'll be able to sing that incredible song of praise and thanksgiving to Hashem. I wish you have a beautiful, wonderful, amazing Shabbos. A Shabbos that is filled with the song of Hashem, the song of life, the joy 
and the beauty of being alive. Shabbos.